There are many magic places on our Earth. One is Tahiti with its 180 islands. Surfers especially will find a jewel in the Pacific Ocean here called Tiaupo. We will discover the secret of this beauty and its beast and see what's beyond Tiaupo. Tiaupo is like this Garden of Eden and this beautiful, like, uh, just serene, most beautiful, most raw place in the world like I've ever been to. And, and, and all of a sudden, it will just come alive out of the middle of nowhere. You can't see this wave coming and it'll deliver one of the most serious, the most serious wave you've ever seen down the reef like a guillotine. Topu is an incredible way that, uh, you know, was really formed by a break in the reef, you know, off of uh, Tahiti there. And the fresh water, I think, coming out of that entire valley, you know, prevents the coral from really growing in certain areas. So it seems like it just cut a knife through this portion of the reef. And as we know with, you know, good surf, you know, good surf is found around irregularities in the bottom contours, you know, whether it be big waves or small waves or point breaks. And certainly Chopu is the type of a reef that, you know, has got a big major cut in it. Now the wave, when it moves over the shallow part of the reef, is moving much slower, so it stands up and kind of stops. Whereas the part of the wave moving in over the deep water, you know, is still moving faster. So it's kind of like a whip where it just, you know, just hooks around and focuses in towards the shallow water of the reef and just piles up on itself. That creates that, you know, that huge ledge effect there where there's, there's no back to the wave where the whole ocean appears to be just dumping on this concrete slab. The bottom contours at Chopu are pretty uh, extreme. Obviously it goes from like 150 feet deep just up to about three feet deep in a heartbeat you know, just in about you know, 100 yards or so. So the wave just like stands up out of deep water and you really don't see it coming. And, uh, you know, it's that variance of uh, depth of water contours, which is really the magic of Chopu. But when you get out there, it's a totally different perspective. You know, you get a late drop, kind of you get air on the drop and it gets pretty heavy out there. Uh, people are not used to the, to the late drops and, uh, and the, how the waves bend um, 45 degrees at you and barrels over your head. Chopo will probably do whatever it wants to you. I'm sure the lip has enough power itself to take some of your limbs off, like it could take your head off just a lip alone and then you got the reef to deal with. So. You're definitely in God's hands out there. To this day, the bay is filled with peace and laughter, while there are still a lot of people who have no fear of being in God's hands. They all come to discover the beauty and beast experience of Tiaupo. Just excited to be in Polynesia, and uh, yeah, I get some big Big open pits, just crave that stuff all year. We had a pretty bad year at Pipeline, so just excited to get some big hollow barrels. I'm in need of some, desperately. Oh. It's the time when everyone is getting prepared. Not only the bodyboard champ Ben Player and the crew, locals Manoa and Michelle Burez, but also the man who has written history in this place, 
Laird Hamilton, who rode the heaviest, sickest wave in 2000. He will accept the challenge and ride the beast with his new gadget, a stand-up paddler. Who will survive? Big Wave rider Raimana van Bastoler masters the challenge with his stand-up paddleboard. The seemingly flawless heavy barrels are ideal for every kind of surfing gadget. Surfboard, stand-up surfer or bodyboarder, they all have a blast on this wave. The wonderful time at Tiaupu has come to an end, and the daredevil who mastered this wave says the scars from the reef were well worth it. I always love coming to Tahiti and surfing here. It's such a perfect break, and it's, you know, when you get a good one, it, it's, you really know it's a good wave when you come out of one out here, and um, it's, uh, yeah, it's just such a fun wave to surf. And, it's scary at the same time, but, but I really enjoy surfing this wave for sure. What remains to be said? When the shark laughs with the dolphin, there is a devilish spirit at play, like the Tahitians like to say. Despite the influx of surfers, the pristine world of Te Aupo still remains peaceful most of the year and will always stay what it always was, a pure pearl in the Pacific Ocean paradise, and we need to keep it that way. <laughs>